Alright guys, today we're going to be reviewing the Tail Strike figure from Godzilla, uh, from Godzilla, from Bandai Creations. So, let's get started. Let's look at the packaging first. Again with the stupid plane. It's the NECA review all over again. But anyway, let's get right on to it. So, on the bottom you have Tail Strike, and here we so have Godzilla. Here's the figure. Picture of Godzilla, Ooh, right there. Tail strike on the side. Other side, we have Godzilla. On the back, it says swinging tail in many different languages. Tail strike, Bandai. Some instructions and the other figure. So, without further ado, let's get started. Let's turn the figure around. Let's get him out of the packaging. Let's get this packaging out of the way. Alright. So, as you can tell, it can't stand very well. You have to, like, get it in a certain angle to, like, actually stand up. Well, that's why I always lean it against something. This figure, you have to, like, lean it against something. So. So, let's get started. So, we, let's start off with detail. So, detail on the figure, it's... I like it better than the Smash... Okay, first thing off. These spikes, they're way better than the Smash Strike figure. These ones look too short. I like these ones. These are perfectly sized. Yeah. So, yeah. Also, I like the spikes on these ones. On this one. So, it has good detail. It looks... Similar to the Smash Strike, not by too much though. So yeah. Uh, detail added. Could have been better. Just like the Smash Strike figure. But it's a kid's toy, so I'm gonna leave it for that. So, let's get started. Wait, we've already started. Whatever. It, it, this one, it kind of resembles the NECA one a little bit better than the Smash Strike figure, but it does look okay. With its for its gimmick, you okay. So there's a button on its there's a button on it right here, and when you press it or swing it, it, it will move. If you just try to do this one hand. There we go. Yeah, see? It's supposed to do that. And it's supposed to tail strike things. Yeah. So, let's get back on the video. Ah, that's weird. Alright. For articulation, you have arms at move. No jar articulation, which is actually kind of interesting to me. Now, this head looks like it should move, but it actually doesn't. There's just a cut there for some odd reason. And what's weird is that this is so much... This looks so much more glossier than this does. I don't know. It just looks weird. But yeah, so articulation, that moves. The legs move a lot more farther than the Smash Strike figure does, which I like. And then, of course, there's the three parts of articulation in the tail. It has one there, one there, one there. Alright. So that's it for articulation. So yeah, that's it for articulation. I just said that. So, it's it. I'm, I was about to say it again. What is wrong with me? I don't know. So, yeah. That's it. We're done. Supposedly. Kidding. We are actually done. This one is actually, this one actually it didn't take very long. It took four minutes. The other two took five, which is weird. Because, I don't know. Maybe because this one is just a little more simpler than the other ones. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Now, 
Oh yeah, I forgot to cover coloring. There you go. I knew I was missing something. I was just like thinking in my head. What am I missing? But anyway, color. Black. With the tan. And the white. And the yellow. Done. Now we've reached to the other ones. It's five minutes now. So, that's it for coloring. We've done everything. Tan. Black. Okay. So yeah. See you guys next time.